Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris from Hitting the Trail, and today I'm going to show you how to add a gate valve to your trailer. And that's Whatever Wednesday. We have a little time, and uh, one thing that we've been wanting to do for, well, months, actually probably since we bought Tandy, was to put a gate valve on the sewer line. And the reason you want a gate valve is sometimes when you uh, go to hook up, you take the cap off the sewer pipe and you'll get leakage out. You don't really want that. And a gate valve at the end of your pipe will actually stop you from doing that, right? So if you're gonna add a new gate valve, this is the whole assembly, um, you have to change your habits and your, I guess, um, it's not habits. System. You have to change your system. See, I have a support system right here. <laughs> She's... You have to change the order you do things. Yeah. You gotta pull that before you pull that. Now, when I get to a new location, when we get to the location, I can't just hook up the hose and pull it. I have to hook up the hose, pull the gate valve here, and then just leave that sucker open the rest of the time we're there. And then I have to remember to shut that before I took, take the hose off. What I've done is we were actually north of Elkhart and they have a like a surplus store, store. right? And they already have these pre-assembled gates. Uh, all I had to do was attach the cap part and we went and found the connector. And before recording, I actually cut off the pipe, but all I used was just a saw, a hand saw. I've seen this done with a reciprocating saw and I asked the gentleman that I watched, it's like, oh man, uh, how easy was that? And he said, actually, I would never do it with a reciprocating saw again because it vibrated everything and he had to go back and reattach um, some of the supports, these pieces here, because the vibration was just ah! So anyway, uh, I used the handsaw and it came off. It took me out of about, I don't know, a minute and I was going kind of slow. So anyway, I'm cutting that off. Uh, I've sanded down the end of the pipe um, and I'm still waiting for, there's still a little bit of just water coming out and I'm drying that up because you want it completely dry before you go to attach it just to make sure that the adhesive works. Um, and then the next step is I'm going to be cleaning this with my Odie clear cleaner. Why do you have to do that? Why do you clean the pipe? It actually makes the adhesive work better. What kind of adhesive do you have to use? This is medium black ABS cement from Odie. How long do you have to wait after you put that on? Boy, she's really getting into me. She's I got all these questions. questions. <laughs> okay, so what this says is you clean this off well, using this, you clean the pipe clean, using this, and then once, you, so you'll wait for that to dry, and then you'll apply this, you'll stick on your attachment and hold it in, and then do a quarter turn, and then that's really it. So it'll um, hard cure. Let me read this. I just want to make sure I'm getting it to you right. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm reading the wrong one. <laughs> All right. So it says uh, allow 15 minutes for good handling strength and two hours cure time at temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The other thing I am going to do, even though, so we've dumped it, I dumped the black tank and then I dumped the kitchen and then I dumped the gray tank. I have rubber gloves and I've kind of gone in and dried out the pipe a little bit and then taken some disinfecting wipes and cleaned it out and then dried it out again and then I'm going to use that cleaner so I just want to make sure that there's no fluid like right now I just saw there's a couple more drips coming nobody so. wants poo poo hands but yeah you don't want poo poo hands again the first thing we're going to use is the clear cleaner and we want everything ready because we don't want to wait a whole long in between. So the first thing, this is going to go on the inside of the pipe. So you're just going to go around and then you're going to go on the outside of this one. Basically anywhere where those two pipes are going to touch, you want to clean. The next step, we're going to use our OD medium black ABS cement. And we're going to go around the inside of the pipe that's going to go on. And the outside of the other pipe. Boy, that is stringy, huh? And then you're going to stick it on. 
And once you get it as far back as you can, you want to do a quarter turn. And we're going to let this sit uh, for, we'll probably just do about 15 minutes on this one, just to let it get a, an initial hardening. All right, so before you attach this, which I'm not going to do right now because this is still drying, you need to think about where you want this angled and where it's going to fit. I mean, if you have it go straight up and down, you got to realize that your hand's going to be here. So I'm going to actually have ours angled down just like that. So when I put the pipe in, Initially, I'm going to put it about here. That way I can still turn it that quarter turn. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because you know what I've had to do recently? Is put this bucket underneath here every time I open it because I feel horrible when, even if I know it's just gray water, but it, it drips out on the ground. I mean, it's nasty. So I don't want that anymore. So we waited, everything's dried. So now we're gonna put the big piece on. So again, we're gonna clean the outside of the male piece and then clean the inside of the female piece. And then we're going to put our cement on. And again, so we want to push straight into it and then do the quarter turn. And then you want to position it where you actually want it, which I think for us looks like about there. So we'll be able to pull it. And now we're going to wait two hours before we actually test it. I want to make sure that <laughs> we're going to test it with gray water, not black water, just to make sure that there's no leaks. All right, so it's been two hours, and now what we're gonna do is actually test to make sure that everything is sealed off so no leaks. So I've hooked up the hose, but the gate valve is actually closed, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull uh, the gray tank and release a little bit of water and then shut it, because I don't want it to backflow. Um, and then we're gonna see if anything leaks out. All we're doing is checking and making sure that there's no fluid. Okay, so now we're just gonna pull the gate valve and make sure that that works. I mean, it should, it's just a gate valve. Nice. All right, so adding a gate valve to your sewer pipe is really, really easy. Anyone can do it, uh, but if this video helped you, Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And leave us a comment down below. Let us know if there's something you like, didn't like, ideas that you have, or just say hi. And remember, life's an adventure. Hop on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.